Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a brand new bag to unbox with you guys. Well, reveal I should say because I don't have the box. Stay tuned if you guys want to see a Valentino bag. That's right guys, Valentino is a label that I have loved for many years but I actually don't own any of their bags. So this is a very first for me to own an uh, Valentino bag and when I saw this bag it wasn't actually my first choice it was my second choice because they didn't have my first choice in stock so I had to kind of re-choose and then I realized wait a minute why was I wanting to get the other bag when this is a bag that I really need so enough of the rambling let's get to it here is the bag guys Ooh! it's a while since I've made that sound I think um, so this is the Valentino Rockstud Spike Bag. It is so gorgeous. I mean, the details, I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. In reality, it is just beautiful. Um, it is in the gray leather. It's quite a puffy bag, the way that it feels. There are all the pieces of studding all over it and we will go through some of those details as well as this kind of closure in the front and the top handle so first thing I'll say guys is this was not my first choice I'll put on screen the one that I was actually wanting it was like a nude with a red V on it I thought it was really iconic I was like I need this in my life I don't have anything like this and you know what I'm kind of silently glad that they didn't have that one in stock because I wouldn't have used that bag that much colors I tend not to use that much but neutrals I use a lot and the fact that this is gray I don't have a lot of gray bags if any gray bags excuse the squeaking noise guys my puppy is playing on the floor I do have a few gray bags, but this one is a top handle. And I'll be honest with you, I have been wanting the Trendy CC in a gray for maybe about 12 months now. And I've been thinking, should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? Should I not? Because I already have two other trendies. You know, I've got this one here and I've got this one here. I've got the nude and the blue. And I thought to myself, I don't really need another one of those, but I really like the shape. I like the style. This is so similar in size and in silhouette. The only difference is I would say this is a little bit more edgy and a little bit more young because of all of the studding all over it and the hardware. But it's still got, you know, the quilting. The shape is similar. It's got the top handle. It is a very similar bag, guys. So if you have been thinking about the Trendy CC, and you're thinking, oh, it's a little bit old for me. I don't know. I want something a bit more edgy. Maybe look at something like this. I mean, this is super cute and really, really fun, edgy, cool. I find this a great little modern take. Now, that's my puppy tearing up a bag. So, no, not one of my bags. Don't freak out. It's her little carry case that she seems to hate for some reason this has got a really unusual side can you see that how it kind of angles into the center it's really really different there is a back pocket as well which would fit like a card I probably wouldn't fit anything more than that in there the base doesn't have any feet but these studs are all along the base so keep that in mind. I think they would still sort of act as a little bit of a stand. This front lock closure is absolutely gorgeous. It's sort of coated this little lock turn in the center. It's got a tiny piece of leather on it. I mean, that is detail. And there's also the leather all around and the beautiful studding and that beautiful logo impressed in gold. Valentino just gorgeous it is a really puffy bag guys I would say it is definitely puffier than the trendy CC I think this bag would look great with jeans really great on a night out as well I mean I haven't even unwrapped this properly so let's do it 
Okay, so the internals of this bag is unlike the Trendy CC. The Trendy CC has three accordion pockets. This has one big pocket and I have to say, I so much more prefer that. I really prefer one big pocket. I find it easier to store things. I can really Tetris stuff in. Three accordion pockets can be so annoying and I find that you actually fit less in the bag because it's separated so much. Unless you have things that are the exact sizes of those pockets, which nobody does, right? So this one big pocket is gonna be so much more useful. I would probably like to get a Samorga insert for this just because it's a fabric on the inside so it's going to be a little bit harder if stain goes on it to be able to get the stain out just in case I like to preserve my bags and then at the back here we've got the zipper pocket it is a little bit crunchy not gonna lie it's a crunchy zipper and then there is the gorgeous little red leather label with Valentino and the logo made in Italy. Let's get into the, oh, the last thing I need to tell you about the inside is that there's one pocket on the back and there's two little just slip pockets on there. All right, now the strap is quite soft, okay? So it's quite a moldable, bendable strap, which, you know, is a lot harder than the Trendy CC but it looks also like it's a lot wider. So you can really get a good puffy jacket in there if you needed to. Also the way this is made, the piping is absolutely sensational. The double stitching is perfect on the ends. There is a stud on either side. The back stitching on the inside of the handle is a little bit messy, not gonna lie, just a little bit. It's not 100% and there's also a step and if you guys have watched my Trendy CC video you'll know the step that I'm talking about on the sides here. It's just not shaved quite enough for it to be perfect but you know what? There's not really much for me to complain about with this bag. It is so gorgeous. I am already loving it so much and I haven't even taken it out of the house. I deliberately wore a really simple outfit today so that you guys could see the bag and how it dresses up a very simple outfit. It's all this hardware that is gonna make this bag just sing, I think. We will go through the strap as well. Now there are little loops, that's why I opened it. There are little loops there and there, which are secured very well, I might add. I forgot to show you the inside of the hardware and it does also have Valentino on it, which is just gorgeous. I mean, the details, guys, the details of this, I'm just blown away. Now, I'm also gonna show you the strap. This strap is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. The detail, I don't know if you can see that, but the detail is so nice. And it even is on a bit of a curve, which I think is really clever so that it molds to your shoulder. It's sort of puffy as well. The hardware is beautiful. It is an adjustable strap and it's adjustable on both sides. So this side and the other side. I'm going to put it on the longest setting because I want to wear it crossbody. You know me and crossbodies, guys. We are best friends. But you can have this as a shoulder strap, I'm pretty sure. And I think it would make a really nice shoulder strap if you're more of a shoulder strap type of gal. So I've just put it on the longest setting. So there are... There's two, one on either end. And there's also this clip with the Valentino logo on it. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, these details, I just... <sighs> so amazed. All right. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, guys, but I forgot to mention that the hardware is... I actually thought it was silver when I was getting dressed today, and so I put on all my silver jewelry. And then I came out and was like, oh, wait, it's not silver. It's actually a champagne gold. So it's a very pale gold color. 
which I think looks really expensive. Sometimes gold gold, yellow gold can be too fake looking, but I find the champagne gold just luxe, guys, just luxe. All right, so it is a little bit of a chunky strap just because of all the layers and the fact that you can adjust it makes it quite chunky. I don't know if I've got this strap on right, guys, so anyone who has a Valentino, please let me know. But you can sort of see there, I've put the loop in. I mean, you would just hook the clip onto the loop, you would think, right? But the reason why I'm not sure is because when you pull it this way, it kind of doesn't sit right. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, guys. See that? That's not right. Even though there's a loop there. Wow, that took a hot minute. That took a hot minute. I don't even know how long that was. I finally figured out, I think I figured out how to do it. So can you see here that now these sides are resting straight? Here is the trick, guys. The trick is you've got to, I don't know if you can see, but you've got to put the loop part. So you see this clip? This loop part has to go on the inside. So this flat bit sits on the outside and sits straight. If it's the other way around, it does not work, right? So it goes like this, it goes like this. So you're using the loop to hide inside the bag and it sits straight. I was doing it the other way. Um, I clipped it so that loop thing was on the outside and it was really wonky. That's why that was happening. Okay. Wow, all right, that is a really short crossbody. Actually, it's about the same size as the Trendy CC. I will give you guys some mod shots now. I'll show you this bag handheld like this, as well as how it fits in the crook of my arm. This is, I think, the larger size. I think there are two sizes. I think there's a small and a large. And the large to me seemed a similar size to the Trendy CC, and I really do love that size. So you can see it on me here. And I will also show you this strap on the shoulder and where it sits on my body, as well as crossbody and how it actually sits crossbody. It's quite a high crossbody, but it is no different from the Trendy CC. It sits nearly exactly in the same spot, in my opinion. From memory, it's quite a high crossbody. And that can get a little bit annoying, but like I said, this top handle is a little bit soft. So to me, it actually is quite comfortable. I don't have any issues with it being on the shoulder. There you go, guys. I hoped you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my site. I do videos twice a week on fashion, bags, whatever I like. And I'd love to have you as part of my community. We talk about all things fashion and bags all the time. So come and join us. I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now. Oh,